thinking about medicine because um, we just did a town hall with the 1619 Project yeah, New York yeah. Times mm-hmm. and one of it is talks about the bad blood mm-hmm. and um, they have a podcast series and this messed me up because we, I expected one thing by the time I got to the end of this podcast this one particular I think it was episode four or five I was saying to myself it's no wonder black people never you know that why do we even go to the doctor why do we bother mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. even doctors that look like us are still conditioned mm-hmm. and trained in a system that is designed to see us as less than, as not human, as not feeling pain, as and it, and it shows today mm-hmm. with and with how we are treated, mm-hmm. even black people, black doctors. How mm-hmm. do you fight that? Like black teachers. No, yeah. Absolutely, and I think that that's all about the next generation of doctors. Because one of the things is, I this is the first time over the past, I think, two years of my life that I've seen people actually calling out medical models, like, wait, this medical model doesn't fit my community. Mm-hmm. We've been taught to just regurgitated if I say to my students my old students at Morgan State tell me about one thing about public health they'll say oh Jon Snow he uh he found out cholera they're not saying W.E. Du Bois and the Philadelphia Mm, Negro so it's a reconstitution Mm. of how we Mm. think about excellence and how we think about models we are kind of ingrained to think that whatever model they're teaching us in school is the only model until we start digging or we go to HBCU that forces you to kind of learn the other models as well, because mm-hmm. that's kind of part of your curriculum. Yeah. But we see this in, in I think, in most professions, yeah. in the education mm-hmm. pr- profession, where this right. generation of teachers does not have the same approach to education as did teachers in segregated that's America. Right. Same thing with the legal profession, where if you are not right. inquisitive and thinking about or grounded mm-hmm. in an alternative way of you, no, not an alternative, an African-centered way of viewing yeah. the world, then you're going to be trained into a profession that is ant- the antithesis of what your people need, mm-hmm. and you might be in a black body, but your knowledge is colonized Absolutely. and if your co- knowledge is colonizing you're applying it to the black community what the outcomes that you will produce will be similar to what colonizers actually are able to replicate and are so, we training message followers are we mm. training people to just okay this is my syllabus or are we training people right. who are questioning right. the people in the classrooms the critical people thinker. critical thinkers I don't think we're training critical thinkers we're yeah. just training people to go into debt that's a whole nother conversation oh, yeah. All right. and, and I was fortunate enough to go through a program where was, we talked about social me- socialized medicine or social medicine in particular so one of the first exercises when I got on campus was we did a, a neighborhood tour. So we walked nice. around the neighborhood and we figured out, you know, what stores are available, what resources are in the neighborhood. And, we, you know, you just count the number of hairdressing stores, right. how many uh, uh, liquor stores, how many, the dearth of uh, uh, grocery stores and things like that also. As a matter of fact, this weekend is my 20-year anniversary for our undergrad. But, and this is what we did when we, when we first got there. And it was really gearing towards more the psychosocial aspect of medicine mm. versus the actual, I mean, we did the, you know, the science, science, histology, pathology, but we also weaved in a lot of, the social sciences also. So you, your mind frame is a little bit different. You look at patients a little bit different. You look at just systems a little bit different also when you have that mindset as well. 